Hello everybody. So today we're going to talk about formatting and conditional formatting, more conditional formatting than anything else. Okay. For today's class. And the objective of today's class, of course, is to talk about how you can manipulate numbers. Now, the first thing that I want to talk about today is how to generate random numbers, random numbers around uh, any spreadsheet or anything that you want to create. Okay, now we're going to do two things. We're going to generate the numbers and then we're going to copy the values and keep them. Okay, so for the, for the first sheet, what we're going to do is we're going to create uh, whole numbers, wh which, uh, which means that we're going to uh, take numbers that have no decimal points. Now to do that, uh, we're going to do this formula called rand between. Rand between. That's what we're going to do. Okay, so again, let's try this again. We're going to click on the equal and we're going to create a formula. Now this function, we haven't talked about functions yet, but today we'll start doing that. Okay, so you're going to click on the equal button just once and then you're going to type in Rand B tween. Okay, Rand between. We're going to open parentheses. We're going to put a minus 50 comma 50. Okay, then we're going to close it, which means that we're going to have numbers that go from minus 50 all the way to 50. Okay, so it's going to give us a 27. Okay, then if we hit again, it's going to give us a different number, a minus 29 and so forth and so on. It just gives me random numbers between the minus 50 and the 50. So what we're going to do is we're going to expand this all the way down here to the 24. And then we're going to expand this all the way to the end. So we have a lot of numbers, okay? And they're all random. They're all completely random. Now what we're going to do is I'm going to copy all of these. So I'm gonna hit, hit Control C, and then I'm going to paste special. Paste special, okay, and values. And that's it. Okay, so again, copy, Control C, and then right click, we're gonna hit uh, paste special, excuse me, right here. And we're going to go to values right here. Values. We're going to hit it. And now these values are not going to change. Okay. So minus 24 to blah, 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 blah. Okay. So we have all of this. We have all these numbers. We have a lot of numbers and we're going to work with these. Okay. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to, uh, select all of this. Okay. Select all of it, all of it, all of it. Okay. Or you could just Grab this cell and just uh, highlight the whole thing. Highlight the whole thing all the way to the end. Okay, very good. Now we're going to expand this thing called conditional formatting. Now these functions are very, very interesting. Okay, now we're not going to talk about all of these right now. We're going to talk about these a little bit later. But right now we're going to talk about first the top and bottom rules. Okay, which means that what the, what's going to happen here is that it's going to indicate... Okay, for example, the top 10 items, the top 10 items, which means that they're the, the top 10 items that have the biggest values. Let's see. Let's click on it and see what happens. Top 10. And then it says a style classic only format top to bottom rank rules. Top 10 percent. No, we're not going to talk about percent, but uh, and it's going to change it into this format. So let's hit OK. Let's see if it happens. Now, the numbers that it's indicating is only the numbers that are the top 10. So we have um, 50s and 49. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Well, it's 13 numbers, but it's the top 10 numbers because it, it basically signaled out all the 50, all the 50s and all the 49s. Okay, cool. So let's uh, hit uh, Control Z as in Zebra just to undo that so we can see something else. Let's go again to conditional formatting, top and bottom rules. Now let's do the bottom 10 items. Let's see what it does. Again, it's going to take the bottom 10, hit OK. And it hits the minus 50, the minus 48, the minus 49, and the minus 47. Total of 10 items. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And I, I probably counted wrong, but the nine, the, the top 10 ones. Okay, let's hit uh, Control Z for to undo this. Now let's look at something else. Let's see um, the top ten percent numbers. The top ten percent numbers. Let's see what happens. Let's click on it. Uh, but now let's do a different color. Let's do something uh, yellow with uh, dark yellow text, green with dark green, 
Okay, light red fill, red text, red border, or customized format. If we hit on customized format, we could put any color we want. Okay, let's uh, choose bold. Uh, we can only choose bold. Uh, color, let's click on the uh, yellow, this yellow right there. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. It's going to su look super weird, super uncomfortable, but we're going to see it. There we go. Now, those numbers don't look very nice. We can't even see them, but it's following the exact rule that we requested. Okay, there we go. Now, let's do the bottom 10%. Now, we're going to click just a default setting. Uh, let's choose a yellow fill with the dark yellow uh, text. Let's hit enter, and we're going to see these are the bottom 10% values okay let's uh let's uh go back there we go okay now um, i want to change one more thing one more thing i'm going to order one of these columns okay so i'm going to order column uh e why not I'm going to select this column everything like this or you can select up here whatever you want okay you're going to sort filter sort sort the smallest to the largest okay but it's going to order the entire table based on only E, okay? So the, the smallest to the largest, let's hit like this. Expand selection, yes, sort, and minus 30, that's the smallest number, and the biggest number is 37, okay? Now let's see, let's see if this is true. Let's see if this is true. Let's go for conditional formatting. Okay, the, uh, to, uh, the bottom 10%, let's see. Uh, yeah. Let's do okay, and the bottom 10% are minus 50, minus 39, minus 41, minus etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Okay, and all of these are correct. We have the smallest numbers. Let's uh, choose another one now for data bars. If um, yeah, below average or oh wait, let's do the above average, which means that if we average out everything that we have now, the average here, as you can see. The average down here is 1.80357. So anything above 1.8, it's going to signal out. So from 2 and up, it's going to signal out. Let's see. Uh, above average. above Anything above, anything from 2 or above. Let's see. Above average. 2 and up. 2, 6, 7. And anything under 2? It's not going to signal out. See, one, it doesn't signal it out, etc., etc. So anything above average, that's pretty cool. Let's go back. Okay, now for this one, for the data bars, this is pretty cool. I, I recently discovered this. If you hit on any of these colors, okay, it's going to show you the percentage. If it's, if it's positive, it's going to show it to you in green. If it's negative, it's going to show it to you in red. This is a graphic version okay of the numbers that you're using for example the 50 the minus 50 has this big number here the plus 50 the, i'm sorry the big red uh, bar here and the plus 50 this one gives you the big red bar the big green bar okay that looks pretty cool very interesting okay let's use another one let's see um the uh let's see the purple one well actually it's blue look at that okay let's look at uh the uh yellow one Yellow and red, cool. Okay, or you can go over here to the uh, color scales. Now this is also very interesting, check this out. If we hit it, okay, the more green it is, the more positive it is. The more red it is, the more negative it is. Yeah, it looks pretty cool, it looks really interesting. And this one, since this one is in order, okay, this one is looks looks perfect actually. Okay, now let's sort this one out. Let's sort this one out, let's see what happens. Sort smallest, smallest to largest. There we go. Sort. There we go. So the minus 50 is the most red one, and the uh, 47 is the greenest one. Okay, cool. Let's see what else we can do. Okay, let's hit normal here. Normal. Uh, can we take it out? Clear rules from selected cells. Clear rules from entire sheet. Let's click on it. No more rules. Okay, good. Now, color sets, if you go to another color, you have other types of scale, other types of colors, like green versus white, okay, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Now, for this one, for the rules, this is where it gets interesting. Now, here is where we can actually expand and do whatever we want. Okay, let's go to the classic one first. In the classic one, 
It says only cells that contain only bottom, top or bottom, only values that are above or below, only unique or duplicate values. Use formula to determine which cells to format. We're going to talk about the, what cells contain. Okay. Now, specific text, no. Cell value, yes. I want a cell value between so and so. Okay, let's say that we have something that we want to see only numbers between 5 and 10 only. Okay. And for, uh, for between 5 and 10, we're going to do a customized uh, format. Okay, the font style, we're going to put it in bold, okay, and we're going to put it in blue. The board, uh, the, uh, the, the color of the text is in blue. Okay, the border, I'm sorry, the fill, the fill, we're going to do the background, we're going to do it in yellow, okay, right? So we're going to hit okay, and it's going to look like this, yellow for any number between 5 and 10. Okay, let's see if that's true. So there you go. Only the numbers between 5 and 10 can, uh, are the ones that we can see. All the numbers between 5 and 10, 8, 5, 9, 7, you know, we only have that specific number. So these numbers uh, are not highlighted because they don't fall within that range. But let's say that I wanted to, I want to see it between that range. So I hit uh, 7, I hit enter, and it's automatically going to adjust itself. If I want to take this out, let's say that I want a minus 8, it's not part of the condition anymore because it's different, okay? This is also a pretty cool thing, a pretty cool way of detecting of detecting uh, conditional formatting. Okay, let's try this one more time. Let's do a couple of more examples, okay? New rule, again, new rule. I'm gonna go to classic again. Uh, only format top or bottom, right? No, let's, cells that contain value, yes. Specific text, no, we're talking about the value. Okay, value, not between equal to, not equal to, greater than, less than, greater than, or equal to, less than, or equal to. We're going to go to equal to. Now, I only want to find the minus seven, only the minus seven. That's the only one I want to find. Okay, uh, let's see. The font is uh, bold, and the fill, we're going to do the fill with uh, orange this time. Okay, let's click on it. So, it's only going to give me the minus sevens, okay, because that's the only one I want to see. So I said, okay, and there we have one, two, three, four minus sevens, okay? Let's say that we have more four minus seven. If I hit here, minus seven, we're automatically going to see it, but it's only the minus sevens, okay? I think I think this is this is pretty self-explanatory. I recommend that if you want to see more information or you want to do more um, more values like this, you can always... Try to play with these things. Okay, let's see, for example, the two-color scale or the three-color scale. Okay, let's go for the two-color scale just to make it more simple. The lowest point, the lowest value that we're interested in, the highest value and the color. Okay, uh, let's choose a number and a number. So uh, the value, the minimum number, let's go to minus 15 and the maximum number is zero. Okay, let's hit okay. There we go. So the, the minimum number, so from zero and up, it goes to this yellow, okay? And all the way to minus 15, okay, is the darkest color. Let's make this a little bit clearer, okay? Let's eliminate the rules, clear rules from selected cells. Let's do it again with new rule. It's going to go to the, to the two-color scale, number, okay, number. The value for this one is minus 50, and the number for this one is 50. Okay, let's see if we can see the scale. We're going to see the scale from red all the way up to green. Okay, let's see what it looks like. Okay, so the more red the color, the lower the value, and the more green the color, the bigger the value. Right, so it could see, you can see it perfectly well here. It's perfectly displayed. Right, because the numbers vary like that. So let's look at a 50 here. Right, it's a little bit greener than the previous one. Yep, and this is pretty cool. Again, this is something that I really like to play with. I uh, I recommend that you guys play with this a lot so you can see a lot of uh, very interesting things on the conditional formatting. Okay, in the case of the formatting the table, okay, you basically just have a bunch of default settings that you can play with. Okay, so if I choose this one, 
Uh, it's telling me from where the data of your table is. There it is. It's on that part. Okay, or you could just select the part. You select the whole thing like this, kind of like it's selected, and it's going to use that whole uh, table. Let's hit OK. And now it's basically formatted everything, and it gave it a number, a, a name, excuse me. Okay? That's another pretty cool way of using this kind of table. All right? Next. For the next part, we're going to talk about percentages, okay, specific percentages. Now, this is for whole numbers. Now, we're going to talk about for uh, uh, fractions of numbers, okay, or we're, for this one, we can use percentages. Okay, let's uh, zoom in. Let's do a bunch of zoom right here, 200% because the numbers are very big. Now, uh, the numbers are very small, excuse me. Now, for this one, in the previous one, we used rand between. In this one, we're only going to use rand. We open and close parentheses, and that's it. No more values. We hit enter, and it's going to give me a fraction of a number. Let's expand this all the way down here, and let's expand this all the way down here. There we go. So we have all these values. Now, the first thing I want you to observe is the first, the few things that we can do. Now, for starters, we have 0.229727275. There's a lot of numbers. So we could do this. With this button here, we can give it more digits. It's expanding one more digit, one more digit, one more digit, or we could reduce the amount of digits, right? And it gives us the next round number. Okay, so I'm going to expand it a little bit, a little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. There we go, all the way to there. That looks really nice. Okay, and now I'm going to keep all of these numbers. Okay, I'm going to, again, copy the values. Copy. As you can see, it's been copied. Then we're going to go to paste special and values. So now I have the entire value of everything. Okay, going to do it again one more time. Okay, since the content of this thing is rand, Okay, and I don't care about that because I really do, I really do want to see all the numbers. Okay, so I'm going to select everything like this or like this. I'm going to grab it like this. Grab the whole thing. There we go. We're going to copy it. And then we're going to do a paste special values. There we go. Now I don't have any random numbers anymore. Now we're going to see another cool thing that we could do is that we could do, turn these things into percentages. And you click on this number here, percentage style. You hit it and it gives you an automatic percentage. Okay, but I want more decimal points. So I increase it as much as I want. Okay. Now with this one, you could also do a bunch of conditional formatting. Okay. Top and bottom, greater than, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So let's say uh, top and bottom rules, data bars, color scales. Let's see what it does. Now we're talking about percentages, right? And this is basically the same thing, but the only difference is that with one you're doing rand between, and with the other one where you're doing ram. Okay. So uh, that's basically it. That's basically all you need to know about this type of conditional formatting. It's a very big topic, and yet it's a very interesting one. So uh, please let me know if you have any comments or questions. Leave a comment right here or uh, send me a direct message. Thank you very much, and I hope you enjoy this topic. All the best.